Hello, and in today's tutorial, we'll be looking at how you can create a solar power system to power your devices. We will learn how to use simple solar panels to power your projects from the sun. We will also learn how to use solar panels in combination with a battery to provide a continuous source of power. When it comes to power options for electronics projects, there are usually three options. Using mains power via readily available wall or USB sockets provides a permanent and cheap supply of power, but we are limited by cable to such locations. Batteries offer portability, but provide limited supply, and replacements can prove costly over time. Solar power also offers portability, but at no expense but it will only work outside and when there is sufficient sunlight. Simply connecting a solar panel to our device may mean that it works when there is sufficient light, but take away that light and we have zero power for our system. Depending on what the power requirements of our system are, we may also need to use a boost converter to take the variable voltage coming from the solar panel and convert it into a suitable stable voltage for our device. If we add a battery to the circuit, we can store any excess energy we produce in the day to charge it. We can then use this stored energy to power the device at night or when there is insufficient sunlight. In consistently sunny spells of weather, this charge cycle repeats. With the right size battery and solar panel, it is possible to maintain a constant recharge cycle and hence a continuous supply. On cloudier days, the batteries recharge less or not at all, and so over time the battery will gradually begin to empty until eventually our device will be powered no more. In order to use a battery, we need to integrate two components into our circuit. The first is a charge controller, which controls transfer of energy from the solar panel to the battery in order to make sure it is charged safely switching off when fully charged. As mentioned earlier, power from the battery may need to be transferred via a boost converter as it is typically lower than the voltage required of microcontroller devices. When there is insufficient sunlight, the charge controller is made redundant and power flows from the battery alone until it is depleted or charging via sunlight resumes once again. An example circuit may consist of and be completed as follows. First, choose a solar panel with a rating of approximately 6 volts. Any more and it may exceed the maximum capacity of our charge controller. Choosing a solar panel power, measured in watts, is a trade-off between cost, size and the energy requirements of your project. Always over-specify your panel because the process of harnessing power from the sun can be very inefficient. 4 to 5 watts should be suitable for most small scale projects and is not overly cumbersome. Attached directly to the solar panel is the TP4056 battery charger. A diode should be connected between the solar panel and the charge controller to prevent the backwards flow of electricity into the solar panel, using the band on the diode as a guide for orientation. The TP4056 is rated for 3.7 volts at lithium ion batteries. The 18650 type is very common, although there are others. Like the panel power, the battery capacity in MAH should meet the power requirements of your system and should be vastly over-specified. It is good practice to ensure when in use, batteries are not depleted below 80 or even 90% of their maximum capacity. You may need to use multiple batteries in parallel to achieve the desired capacity. Finally, connect the boost converter to the charge controller or battery. We should now have a stable 5 volts output which we can use to power a variety of devices. And that's it! You should now be able to generate a continuous and clean source of power for all of your projects. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to subscribe and check out kaboo.com for more projects and tutorials.